Okay, so if you're in a field like finance or accounting, you know the deal. We are caught in this constant push to work faster, to be more efficient. But what happens when that speed starts to come at the cost of, well, substance? There's this huge difference between just working fast and working right. Today, we're going to break that down and show you why understanding it is the real secret to taking your work to the next level. I mean, let's just be real for a second. Our entire professional world feels like it's built around this one idea. Automate this report. Speed up that analysis. Close the books yesterday. The pressure is always on. And it is relentless. It's just the game we're all playing. And hey, we've got an incredible set of tools to play that game, right? We get really, really good at things like Excel, Python, SQL, you name it. And you know what? It works. The people who are wizards with these tools, they're the ones who really shine. They get stuff done faster, their work looks cleaner, and they make these ridiculously complex things look easy. But, and this is a big but, there's a little catch to this whole approach. A kind of hidden trap in that relentless chase for efficiency. What happens when just being fast isn't the only thing that actually matters? Because sooner or later, your quest to be the fastest person in the room is going to run smack into this one simple question. Just picture it. You're in a big meeting, maybe with senior leadership. You've just presented this beautiful, super fast analysis. And then your boss looks at you and asks, this looks great. Can you just explain why you did it this way? And bam, in that one moment, being a ninja in Excel or a pro at Python, it doesn't really help you. Your tools are amazing at telling you how you did something, but they've got absolutely nothing to say about why. For that, you need something way deeper, something more foundational. So let's actually define our terms here. When we talk about tools, what we're really talking about is the how, right? These are the instruments, the software, the code we use to get tasks done. It's all about execution. It's all about efficiency. Simply put, tools help us do things right. And this is where frameworks come into the picture. Frameworks are the why. They're the core concepts, the fundamental principles that guide our decisions from the very start. They're not about speed. They're about being correct. Frameworks help us do the right things. And what are these frameworks exactly? Well, think back to the very first principles you ever learned. Things like the time value of money, interest theory, or accounting standards like IFRS 9. These aren't some flashy new apps. This is the bedrock of our entire profession. This stuff doesn't change when a new software version comes out. So check this out. Let's put them side by side, because this is where it really clicks. Tools are all about doing things right. The goal is efficiency. But they're also kind of fleeting, right? They evolve, they get updated. Frameworks, though, they're about doing the right things. The goal isn't just speed, it's effectiveness. And they are durable. They are foundational. They last. And really, getting this difference is so, so important. It's a simple idea, but it'll completely change how you think about your work. And it all boils down to two little phrases. First up, efficiency is doing things right. This is all about execution. It means running that model perfectly, cleaning up that data without a single mistake, building a spreadsheet that's just flawless. It's mastery of the how. But then there's effectiveness. And effectiveness is doing the right things. This is about choosing the correct model to begin with. It's about asking the right questions of your data and making sure your entire approach is sound from the ground up. So here's the real danger. If you only focus on your tools, you can get incredibly good at doing the completely wrong thing. Yeah, your work might look sharp and polished on the surface, but underneath it all, you could be standing on some seriously shaky ground. So what's the answer? Do we just ditch our tools and become philosophers? No, not at all. This isn't an either or kind of deal. The real path to becoming an expert, to truly leveling up your career, is to combine them. You've got to bring the how and the why together. Here's the best way to think about it. Imagine your frameworks are your conceptual compass. The compass points you in the right direction. It makes sure that all that technical firepower you have is actually aimed at the right target. The compass tells you where to go. Your tools just help you get there faster. So this gives us a pretty clear path forward. Three steps. Step one, absolutely 100% keep mastering your tools. That speed and firepower are valuable. Step two, ground yourself. Really dig deep into those foundational frameworks. You've got to understand the why. And then step three, synthesize them. Use that compass to guide those powerful tools. Because when you can do both, when you have a deep understanding of what you're doing, and more importantly, why it even matters, 
that's when something amazing happens. You stop just finishing the job. You start to elevate it. You turn a simple task into something that's truly meaningful and impactful. So I'll just leave you with this one question to chew on. Take a hard look at your own work, at your own skill set. You've probably mastered the tools, no question about that. But ask yourself honestly, is your work standing on solid ground?